one. What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We are here live at the Rec Tech headquarters, and I'm about to get it kicked off lunch break with my two favorite guys. Shove a little love for Chef Greg and Jody. Oh, uh -oh. I, forgot, I already cracked mine. It You're was good. a good. It's a good day. It's Monday. Split screen with cheers and right. Split screen. Cheers. Dink. No. All right. <laughs> What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? I'm Carol with the Wildlife, the Big Cat Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody out there in, on the internet knows what I'm talking about. And boy, Tiger King is a, just a, a joy to watch. If you don't know what we're talking about right now, you need to get yourself a Netflix account. And or borrow one of your friends. And stow away a good, what, five, six hours of your day. It's only seven episodes. Uh, it's only seven episodes, but you're going to want to watch all of them at least two or three times. At least. But I definitely recommend Tiger King. If you haven't seen it, all you cool cats and kittens out there, you need to get out there and do it. <laughs> Help support the Big Cat Rescue. Uh, Big Cat Rescue Entertainment. That's right. It's who I support. Joe Exotic for president. <laughs> or governor. <laughs> or governor of Oklahoma. Remember, a fifth... <laughs> A fifth of the o state of Oklahoma voted for him. Yeah. If you are out there watching from Oklahoma and you j voted if for you're Joe from Exotic, Win, if you're from Winwood, Oklahoma, put it in the comment section down below. We've got some stuff that we need you to go do real quick. If you have met the Tiger King in person, you got a selfie with him? You can go on Google uh, Maps, <laughs> and the, the, his red truck is parked out in front of the facility, and he's got a sticker on the side of his truck with his gorgeous face on it. You could definitely see the king's Map. face see if you can without a doubt on Google. I like it. Google Maps. Right. Uh, but this is Rec Tech Lunch Break, guys. We're trying to bring you some normalcy while also trying to break up your day. Uh, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. Today, we are going to be cooking up some delicious meatballs. meatballs. Is everything working well? Guys? Yeah, y'all a little red, but it's okay. Oh, well, well I, I, that's just my high blood pressure. I said I did get a lot of sun this weekend. We we're out. Everybody got a lot of sun in the driveway, and is that what you did this weekend, Chef? Yes, we uh, painted uh, the bedroom, so that's done now. Oh. Ceilings. Wait a second, is that a uh, metaphor? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> huh? We. Huh? Uh, it was pain. Uh, it's difficult. It got painted. Painted. Yeah, Greg painted that you, bedroom like, this there's, weekend. Other than like spraying ceilings, there's oh, gonna be an easy way about Greg it. Greg sprayed ceilings, <laughs> am I right? I mean, yeah. my man. These guys. These guys. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt. Like no, no, you're uh, right. Home improvement. Pain project. in the butt. <laughs> yeah. It's getting even better. <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> home improvement projects are just sometimes just not a lot of fun. <laughs> not saying. they're not. Sometimes it's they're work. But thankfully, one of my buddies is a pressure wash company, so I got uh, the big orbital thing for the driveway. Shout out biscuit. And I gotta tell you, like we got like literally like five miles of driveway. Thankfully, it's all downhill. So, mm -hmm. but it took the better part of the day with that thing. Oh, I bet. It was insane, I but bet. it looks great. But it was the right tool for the job. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's no way. I did it once with a wand. It took me like three days. Wow. It was not fun. Jenny, what did you do this weekend? I planted uh, those plants I told everybody that I was going to plant. Now, I, uh, we kept our social distance. That's good. We drove by Lowe's and Home Depot, and there were a lot of folks in the parking lot. Uh, which is kind of scary mm -hmm. yeah. um, that a lot of folks aren't really taking this seriously. Yeah, um, stay home. Like, guys, if, if you can, hashtag food. stay home. Um, it's, it, now is not the time um, to, to do all of your projects and, and go out there and get mixed up with a bunch of people and you might get sick. Yeah, invest um, back in your family. Spend time with the kids. Maybe you've got you know, something you haven't done in a while. Like, when's the last time you played a, a board game as a family? Or done a puzzle. Yeah. I mean, like, get a deck of cards. I mean, oh, it's really yeah. red? Is it bad, guys? No, no uh, I think you just, your do not disturb is not on. It was on. I, I did. I turned it on. it's on, Jody. <laughs> Who's calling me right now? Adam Lambert. That is uh, a good buddy of mine. Sorry, everybody. I totally messed all that up. He should know from 12 to 12.45. God, it's I said. Break. Clearly, he's not watching us on Facebook. We right need now. Ray Carnes to join us in. Uh, today, hopefully, we will get the co-founder, uh, Ray Carnes himself. We're going to try to get him to give us a little face call today. We wanted to talk to him and check on him and see what he did this weekend. So we figured we would bring that joy to you as well, and we'll put him on a big old screen over here, hopefully, and uh, we'll get him to call in maybe. We'll maybe. see what happens. 
Should we get started on these meatballs? Get started on those meatballs, Greg. All right, so we got about four pounds of 80-20 ground chuck and about uh, a pound of Italian sausage. Meatballs, yeah. I got a couple cloves of garlic. We're going to do meatballs. This is why you need a cleaver. And meatball subs. You need a cleaver just for this. Just put the garlic down, give it a flack. Crackers, Greg. Very I mean, aggressive today. John, we got any good questions out there in comment land? Everybody's just tuning in saying, hey. Someone did have a. Was there joke somebody for from Widwood? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wish. But if you guys have not checked out my boy Joe Exotic, we are friends. Uh, Joe Exotic and I, we're not good friends, but we're acquaintances. And uh, he's a, a movie do they star have a rec, now. Do, have a, do they have a rec tech at the uh, the zoo down there? They don't. They've got the competition, you know, because they were looking to penny pinch. Um, when all that stuff went down, so, you know. It's disappointing. It is disappointing, but, you know, you get what you pay for, and that's what I told old I mean, Joe Exotic. Don't, don't make it And he problem. told me, he said, Jody, you know, when I bought them crappy uh, cheap tigers, you know, they didn't do nothing for me, so I should have learned that the first time. And that's what Joe Exotic told me. <laughs> all right, so we'll grab our <laughs> Italian sausage, and sometimes you have them in the casing, and sometimes you get it uh, in the bulk pack. Just grab that casing and just kind of squeeze out the... Uh, Whoa. The sausage. Now, uh, could you eat that casing, Greg? You sure could, but you're not going to mix it into the meatball. Ah. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to have a good, uh, you know. Consistency? Well, I mean, like, you don't want, like, the, the, uh, the casing just floating around in a meatball. <laughs> it's not like the, uh, it's not like the baby in the king cake. It's not a, you don't win something. Cheese and crackers, Greg. So. Greg had a good weekend, everybody. Um, put in the comment section what you did this weekend, folks. We would love to know. Um, but again, we encourage you. To hashtag stay at home. Um, we are almost there. We are almost there. We are. I could. We could probably see the light at the end of the tunnel. For sure. Let's give it a couple more weeks. Let's listen to what the CDC and everybody says, and uh, we will be back in action, back to normal Soon here enough. soon. Sooner than later. So I'm just going to give the uh, sausage and the ground beef here a quick little mix. Shout out to everybody watching. And this is a great job for the kids. Get some uh, Rectech Grills Nitrile gloves, and I love mixing the sausage with the uh, the ground beef really get some good flavor in there. And if you want spicy, you can use the hot, the sweet, the mild sausage, really just whatever, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Who said hi from Wynwood, Oklahoma? I saw that in there, yeah. John. Peter Furman says, hey. Get out of here, Peter <laughs> Furman. <laughs> <laughs> Peter it. is not from Wynwood. He <laughs> is from Augusta, Georgia. He currently lives here. He might you know better be than that, Peter. So in here we've got a uh, large onion and the garlic we chopped. Now the onion I put in a food processor. Now is that a Vidalia? Is that a white? Is that a, a red? It's just a regular old yellow onion. Yellow onion, okay. Yep. And I, I put it in a food processor. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 Ray Carnes is calling. <laughs> oh, technology! Oh, Ray! Hey. It's working! Just say hey to everybody, Ray! God, we miss seeing you, Ray. We do, we do. What, what are you guys cooking today? Today, we're cooking some delicious meatballs. You know, Greg loves meatballs. Yeah. And he painted his ceiling all weekend. <laughs> and uh, he's just wanting to relieve some stress, so we decided to cook some delicious meatballs. <laughs> Greg, how big are your meatballs? I mean, normally they're uh, pretty big, but we're going to make them a little bit smaller <laughs> so they can fit on the, uh, the sandwich. So we're going to make them a little bit smaller so they can fit on the sandwich, Ray. All right, we'll make you about five. Did you do anything cool this weekend? Do you got any fun stories for us? Yeah, I'm just uh, basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still on crutches. So uh, I'm limited and uh, just quarantine, self-quarantining. Uh, but I uh, went out in the boat and uh, did a little uh, cruise and hung around the pool and did jacuzzi and stuff like that. Very so, cool. Uh, too excited. Very cool. And guys, this is Ray Carnes, the co-founder of Rectech Grills. He is not in the comment section. He is on camera with us right now, right. live, while he's quarantining at his home in Evans, Georgia. Ray? Yes? What has been your favorite part about quarantining? Uh oh, man. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> No. Everybody, everybody's ready to get back out. And, uh, everybody in this country's got a little bit of cabin fever. Uh, I didn't join it, I've been, you know, I've been sick 
you know, back on the rec tech a little more than usual, which is nice. But, you know, it's a lot of times I, I don't cook at home as much. Uh, well, I had in the past because we're cooking there all the time. So, right. uh, you know, uh, it's nice to be at home and uh, to get back to my roots, you know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> on the rec tech, we're just doing a lot of meals at home, which is really nice. And I guess, honestly, now that you mentioned it, the favorite, my favorite part is my son is home from school because of this, and uh, it's good to have that. The whole family here under one roof uh, again. You know, it, it was kind of quiet without them, so I sure didn't miss it. So bringing it all back to family. Look at that. Ray Carnes. Okay. John, you got any questions for Ray Carnes, the co-founder of Rectech Grills? Everybody's just saying, hey, Ray, they're hoping that your ankle and your foot is doing better. Um, they said they love seeing you. They said that he got a little close to that dam this weekend, huh? Ray, you got a little close yeah, to the dam? That's the Savannah River. That's how it's going. I've been going there for years, and uh, it's not as quite as dangerous as it looks. If you, uh, there's a wall right beneath that spillway, and uh, and I know I got some comments from people saying it was a little too dangerous, but uh, actually you can, you can reach, uh, you can go over the side and put your feet and hold your boat there. Uh, you know, don't ask me how I know that. But <laughs> you can hold your boat there uh, very easily. So, uh, and you can, uh, I have 100% uh, faith in that Yamaha. <laughs> awesome awesome well right we're not going to take up any more of your time but we really do appreciate you joining us um is is that raffle for colden still going on uh i think there it might be a i think it ends today if there's any time left it, it, okay it's a field of legacy i think it's the name of the charity that's right down, down in our bread. that's right I did want to say one thing before I leave you. Please, uh, please. Thank, uh, the entire Rectech family for spreading the love and supporting us during this time. I know there's some tough times out there for some families. And, uh, I just want to say that we've had a tremendous amount of support, and, and the fact that we're up and running still is just we couldn't do it without the fans. And, and I, I sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. And it's just been awesome to, to uh you know, go through this, and I know America is going to come back stronger than ever uh, after this. Uh, this is not a natural uh, phenomenon, and uh, after it's done, I know it's going to be better than ever. And uh, so I wanted to thank everybody personally for all the support. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ray. Uh, get well soon. Everybody send you a bunch of well wishes out there in Facebook I'm, land. I'm good. I'm kind of walking on crutches now with a, a walking boot, uh, so I'm getting there. So uh, a few more weeks, I should be be uh, off the Sweet, man. Well, we miss you. Get well soon. Give Beth a kiss for us. Yes, sir. All right, you guys stay safe. Later, Ray. Tell John to bring you a few. Yes, sir. All right, I got you. I All got right. you. All right, take care, y'all. Bye, Ray, Ray. Ray, right, so corn. If you're looking for that recipe, this is Grandma's Meatball Recipe on the website. So no need to worry about writing it down. It's on the website. Right, right, right. But um, you can make them as big or as small as you want. But Greg, we go over the recipe in the video. So if they just watch the video a couple, two or three times, you sure it can. makes us look good. And then they get the right recipe, right? Yep. And we added in here about five eggs. We added a cup and a half of milk, about a cup of breadcrumbs, a couple tablespoons of Ben's Hever Dust, a couple tablespoons of Colton's Freaking Greek. Oh, yeah. And that's a good meatball right there. That's a delicious meatball. Now, if you meatball. wanted a meatball more for a sandwich... Give that meatball more like a Salisbury steak sort of shape. And then that way, when it cooks, it kind of fits on the bread a little easier. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Any good questions out there, John? Everybody just says everything looks great for lunch. Oh. But here's a good meatball tip for you, too. <laughs> Before you uh, right. go ahead and, you know, ball What's up, Ben Lowe it. watching? He's out there. Ben Lowe's watching? Yeah. What's up, Ben Lowe? Um, Doug make sure Wilkerson? they sit in the fridge for, you know, maybe an hour or two. And that way all of the salt and, and onion and all the good ingredients here can kind of get happy, happy, happy. That's and we a also good, added uh, good a, chef tip for about sure. a cup of grated cheese as well. You got a, uh, a sheet pan or a mat for me? I got a mat for you, brother. And that's a stick-resistant cooking mat available at rectechgrills.com. I'm going to give a couple of shout-outs. What's up, Brent Baker, our uh, one of our IT specialists. Thank you so much, Brent, for watching in. Smash that share button for us. Jody, we just got off the phone with Ray. And he's already in the comment section. So if you have any questions for Ray, make sure you go in the comment section down below and put him in there. He'll try his best to get to you. Mr. Bill Edwards is out there. Uh, Joshua Bolton is from Bay City, Texas. Joshua, how close is Bay City, Texas to Wynwood, Oklahoma? That's what I want to know. Um, 
Where do you buy tickets, Frank is asking. So, uh, Colden Carnes is selling raffle tickets um, to benefit, mm-hmm. uh, I believe, the disabled Seal veterans. Yep. Um, so, if you go in the Rectech Grills thread, you will see where Ray actually shared where you can buy tickets from. Uh, so, just, you know, after watching this video, go to the Rectech Grill, Grills thread on Facebook, and it should be in there properly. And it's only $10 a ticket. You can win an RT700. I mean, that grill retails right. for 12 well, they're doing RT ninety nine, but it's twelve hundred dollars. What's up, Les Burl, Brandon Morris? Both of those guys were here for uh, Rec Tech Fest we had at the beginning of February. Uh, Josh Altizer, Winwood is pronounced Winniewood, not Winwood. LOL. So Winniewood. 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 The Greater Winniewood Zoo. <coughs> Maybe Animal. he's uh, from there since he knows how to pronounce it so nicely. Josh said he's sixty miles southwest of Houston. How close is that to Winniewood? That's what I want to know. Um, <laughs> Hoboken, Georgia's out there. Athens, Georgia. Ray said it's actually a 590 that they're giving away. Still an 899 value. value. That's right. All right, well, uh, we're going to wait for Greg to roll up these delicious giant meatballs that he has here. Um, the good thing is the bigger you make them, the less you have to roll. Boom. Very good chef tip. So I just took some delicious garlic bread here. And I topped it with um, some cold cuts and a little bit of cheese. And then we're going to leave a little bit of this garlic bread just normal for folks like Harry uh, who don't like uh, the finer things in life. He's kind of uh, particular about per- his food. <laughs> particular. Harry doesn't like the finer things in life, Jody? Don't give that guy <laughs> no. anything green. If it's a um, green vegetable, scroll down. Oh. he ain't having it. <laughs> scroll down. Dummy. Got the phone. John Franklin said he's been cooking quite a bit every day on his rec tech since this quarantine mess. He said no complaints whatsoever. Valdosta, George is in the house. Arkansas. I love folks from Arkansas. Shallow Water, Texas in the house, literally. Frisco here. Uh, New Jersey's checking in. All oh, our hearts are with you out there, Rob. Uh, we hope you're staying safe out there. Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Nashville to the key, Tennessee. Uh, Joshua Bolton said they're 465 miles from Winniewood. Thanks, Josh, for letting us know that. That's um, a guess. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. That's Peter Furman's out there wondering who in the world, Chef Greg, is going to eat all of this food. Well, I've put on about 14 pounds in the last 14 days. So Greg is going to eat all of this, and it's going to be amazing. No, Did you see me eat that patty melt last week? Yeah. yeah. So we're allowed to have a few employees here uh, while we practice social distancing as well as safe practices. So, of course, we're going to feed uh, the few employees that are here. Um, there's also a, uh, another office around the corner um, that we like to also feed the guard shack and a few other people but there's gonna be some leftover food of course oh, yeah. and we'll take it none of this food is absolutely going to go to waste nope. um, we've also purchased a wonderful vacuum sealer thank you chef greg for getting that and the uh, master uh, the vac master three gazillion does an amazing job at preserving all of this food dual 22 we, inch seal bars wow 22 inch bars man What's up, uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas? Texas is out there. Uh, white Bear, I got a White Bear Lake, Minnesota story for you. Was that, whose, whose name was that? Richard? Uh, Richard All right, Rose. So I grew up playing uh, ice hockey, and in uh, high school, in the state of Georgia, they uh, had inline hockey, which was, you know, kind of fun. So we went down to West Palm Beach, Florida. This was back in, ooh, maybe 99 or 2000. And uh, we ended up going to the high school national championship oh, for Greg. inline hockey. Oh, and, uh, yeah, no, this is, so we ended up playing this team from White Bear Lake, Minnesota. No, there were like seven kids on the team. We're like, dude, we got this. We got these guys. Let me tell you. They wiped they the floor with y'all. They smoked us. New well, Jersey we ended up checking in. in. Second, so it was okay. Vac Master is on John's <laughs> wish list. <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma out there. Hey, Derek, how far are you from Winwood or Winnie Wood? We'd love to know. <laughs> Um, Gus says he's been cooking every day on his rec tech. That is amazing, Gus. Thank you so much for the, for the support. Northern Wisconsin in the house. Phoenix, Arizona. Hempstead, Maryland. Harlem, Georgia. What's up, Jackie? How you doing from Harlem? All right, I'm going to go social Get distance on out myself there. outside. Uh, Jeff Richard, Richard Richardson. Sorry. Michael Frederick. Las Vegas checking in. Joseph has ribs on his stampede. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If all 237 of you... 
uh, can smash that share button, can give us a like, give us a lug, it would mean, it would mean the world to us. Um, so please do that. We're trying to bring you some normalcy as well as mix up your day for lunch break. So I'm going to head out with Greg, and we're going to get some of this delicious bread on the grill too. John, what's up? Jody, while you're heading outside, we got a couple questions. Or people want to know the history, brief history of RecTech. How did oh, it all got started? Brief history. So uh, back in 2008, when that old economy wasn't doing too good, uh, a car salesman by the name of Ray Carnes reached out to his lifelong friend, Ron Cundy, said, hey, man, uh, you want to make a pellet grill? Ron shook his head and said, what are you talking about? Um, and uh, Ron's business wasn't doing that great at the time. Uh, so they said, you know, screw it. Let's do it. Uh, so it actually took an entire year to sell the very first grill. And uh, by the power of the Internet and social media, uh, the RecTech family has grown. And um, Ray and Ron said back in the day, we're going to do, one, we're gonna do two things. We're going to make an amazing product that we can be proud of and that others can be proud of. And then number two is we're going to take care of the people that, buy the, bought that have bought that product. So they're bringing back old school customer service by doing that and treating everybody like family. They have grown the RecTech community to what it is now, the RecTech nation. And um, we sell more grills by word of mouth than anything else. That's right, the folks that purchase our grill are, love it so much that they uh, recommend it to their friends and their relatives, and that's how we have become uh, the Rectech family. So uh, it, took the very first, it took a whole year to sell the very first grill. Um, absolutely amazing. Ray Carnes used to be the, the tow truck driver, tow truck driver, forklift driver, uh, the janitor, the shipping guy, the phone guy, the tech guy. He did it all. Him and uh, Ben Lasaft uh, and Harry Doss, and then there were two guys in the back, Justin and uh, crap, Trey were in the back. I was the fifth employee hired in 2013, and uh, it has been crazy ever since, man. That's a brief history, John. Thank you for asking that question. Yeah. What a great question. It's a good one. And if you guys have any great questions, put them in the comment section down below so we can get to them. Um, but today, of course, we're, we're prepared for you. Always. We're always Every prepared day. for you. Today's meatball day. So right, we've, already, we've already got some meatballs rolling. So we got the RT700 and the RT590 preheated to 325. Oh. And we're going to get some good smoke on these meatballs. And again, we're going to cook these to an internal of 165 degrees. We'll go ahead and pull these off because they are done. Check out these mats. Again, you can take those meatballs. That's a good stick right assisted cooking mat right there, man. Available at rectechgrills.com. It's dishwasher safe, super easy to use. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite accessories. I like to wrap my meatloaf up in it. Yeah, dishwasher safe, super easy. And again, that's it. You can go to temps dishwasher. of like five to 600 degrees. No direct flame, though. You really want to watch the direct flame because it can burn up. Yep. Um, but a great accessory to an already stellar product for sure. And you guys, you we are that, cooking open that lid for me? in the RT700 and RT590s today, but you could absolutely positively do this in your oven. You can do this in your gas grill. You can do this in your charcoal grill. Of course, you just want to make sure uh, that you maintain that temperature in your gas or charcoal grill, which is you know a little bit tougher. Um, what we are using is the Rectech Grills RT700 and RT590. That grill just does all the work for us, guys. We, we set it. Oh, man, look at those look balls at coming balls. off that grill. Uh, we set the temperature. The grill gets there. It holds it. It maintains it. Uh, it keeps dumping fuel to the fire and main maintains that temperature perfectly for us while producing an amazing amount of smoke. My ball down. down. Um, but we are running a little bit of a special, guys, 20% off of any add-ons that you add to any grill purchase. So we are offering 20% off any and all of those add-ons, like a competition card. If you were sitting on the fence about a competition card, you should go ahead and pick it up now. If you're sitting on the fence about a smoke box and you're going to make a grill purchase, go ahead and get it now. It's 20% off of your entire uh, add-on price at rectechgrills.com. Man. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I love cooking simple things like garlic bread, frozen pizzas, frozen burgers, hot pockets, pizza, uh, what are they called? Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls.
Speaking of hot pockets, set if the you've never, to 40 degrees, 15, 20 minutes for all of that stuff, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you have never made a calzone before, Chef John showed us how this weekend. Yep. Uh, we got some great videos out on uh, Instagram and Facebook. John rolling up a calzone. It's delicious. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. And John, what are you doing today for uh, Backyard and Beyond live at 4 p.m.? Sandwiches, sandwiches, and more sandwiches, bro. We Very like sandwiches. Cool. We love yeah. sandwiches. Are they going to be hot sandwiches? Yeah, I'm going to show everyone how to do some hot sandwiches on the RT340. Give them some uh, option sandwich options with everybody at home, you know? Right. Dig it. And that is a super simple, super easy thing to kind of rectify and make delicious by just adding that little bit of smoke flavor, that little bit of heat, warming everything up, melting, melding all everything together, all of those ingredients. Uh, but, Speaking uh, melding ingredients, should we talk about that red pot that somebody might or might not have seen inside that yes, RT700? Yes, let's, let's, talk, let's talk all about that red pot. All right, so we are also making some bouillonnaise, which is a delicious meat sauce. Bolognese. 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 There's no bologna in this sauce. Okay, um, this recipe is also on the website. We've taken a couple pounds of sausage, a couple pounds of ground beef. We've uh, put in a food processor some carrots, some onions, some celery, some garlic, a bunch of herbs. We cooked it down super low and slow on the RT700. Like, started at like six o'clock in the morning. We added some uh, red wine. We cooked that down. We added a little tomato sauce. We cooked that down. Now we're gonna add a little cream. And we're gonna cook this down. Super low and slow. So this is just a meat sauce, Greg? Yeah, this is like the ultimate sugu. Meat gravy. This is going to go over some pasta for the uh, the guys up here. All the cats and kittens that are here. All these cool cats and kittens. And again, we're going to that a big simmer cat down rescue. for maybe another, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. And that'll top off some noodles. We can always put a little bit of vodka in there if we want to make a vodka sauce. But um, Literally put vodka? Yeah, we could. Little Tito's. Nothing wrong with little Tito's. Hey, Chef Greg. Yeah, buddy. Real quick, are the covers uh, machine washable for the grills? <laughs> I've actually pressure washed mine before, but um, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I would, put it in the washing. I machine. would put it in the washing machine. It'd probably kind of tough it up a little bit. But yeah, you could pressure wash it. You could hit you could it with the hose, it hose uh, for sure. Uh, a mild detergent like Dawn, mm -hmm. you can easily put that on there and yeah. scrub it, and it'll um, get it to come clean. You got a big old pickup truck, and you got like one of them uh, boats uh, washers that you hook the soap up to. That works out great too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Make it easy. Hard bristle brush. Don't, don't overthink it. A little bit of elbow grease, and uh, you're good to go. Um, but what a amazing weekend it was here for weather. Um, Beautiful. It was Harry, would you like to try a meatball? 80s. Uh, upper 80s this weekend. Uh, Boss man Ben and a few of the staff uh, practiced um, social distancing yesterday on the river, which was a really cool thing to do. Um, Look at that try smoker, something guys. that you haven't done before, guys. You know, if, if you've been afraid of that brisket cook, well, you've got all day to sit there and babysit it. Um, if you've been afraid of that uh, Boston butt cook, Babies. I got a good buddy that I've been talking to uh, through Facebook. He's having the darndest time cooking a Boston butt uh, in these grills, so we're going to you know, help him out. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Hit us up via email, Jody at RecTechGrills.com, Chef John, Chef Greg at RecTechGrills.com. We are here for you. Uh, any and all recipes. We cook on all kinds of different grills as well. All the time. Um, so don't limit it to just pellet grill uh, or our grill questions. We can definitely help you guys out. And guys, don't overthink it. I mean, cooking on our grills, super simple. Dang it! You know, you're going to get them one day. You're going to get it, I promise. I know, one day. It'll you're all gonna, be over soon. You're doing a Boston butt, stick it at, you know, 225, let it go for, you know, seven hours or so, wrap it up in foil, keep going until it's probe tender around 200 degrees. Brisket, same thing, maybe go a little bit hotter, but don't overthink it. Don't be a looky-loo. Yeah, you don't, don't need to open that guys, lid, just let right. the grill do its thing. Yep. And, at, you know, now's the time to go ahead and give your grill a super deep cleaning if you wanted to. You know, go ahead and let all of your pellets run empty out of your hopper. That way you reduce all of that uh, dust that ends up piling up at the bottom of your hopper. Clean that out. Uh, go ahead and clean the bottom of your grill out now. Go ahead and change your foil. If you have any of that nasty um, black peeling, what's it called, Greg? Creosote. Creosote. Go ahead and scrape that stuff off. Yeah. Um, now is the perfect time to do it. You've got all the time in the world. Or make your kids do it. Make your kids do it. Make some memories with the kids. Um, John, what you got for us, buddy? But just okay, be safe out there, guys. Questions. One was, could you use cream cheese instead of heavy cream? in the bolognese sauce. Mm. And the second one is, mm. everyone's saying that sounds like a vodka sauce now that you added cream to it. 
Uh oh. Oh <laughs> man. Y'all have y'all have messed to. up now. Have to. Have to, have to, have to. Add some cream when you're making bouillonnaise. You have to. I also add a little rind of Parmesan, but they haven't eaten at the store today. Oh, um, y'all have messed cream up. Cream cheese. I'm not feeling the cream cheese, but I know some people out there are like fond of the cream cheese. Not this guy. A little bit of heavy cream. No, but it, it uh, when it's, it kind of simmers down a little bit, that cream's going to give it some good richness, good viscosity. Um, it's a good thickness to it, but it's not going to be as kind of white, orangey once it cooks down. It'll be a little bit more red. Greg, wasn't it you that was telling us last week that uh, cream cheese was actually just an American's yeah. attempt at making brie, brie. cheese? That's right. For sure. So the cheesemakers, right. the American cheesemakers try to make brie. Shout out to all our buddies, American cheesemakers. What's and they up? Come with cream cheese. I love yeah. cream cheese. Thank I, God for those guys. For sure, but it's not brie cheese. What would we stuff a jalapeno with if we didn't have cream cheese, Greg? Schmear on a bagel. Uh, John, you got an awesome got, John? question for somebody out there in comment land? Yes, James Moore wants to know how often do you need to clean your grill? So it depends how often you cook. For me, I clean my foil every couple cooks. And it's hard to say every couple cooks. Maybe if I'm doing some leaner things, things that are not making a mess of the grill, maybe I can go four or five cooks. Uh, short cooks, again, if I'm doing a long cook, I'm changing that foil. While I'm in there, I've got that drip pan out. It takes literally 20 seconds a year to clean your fire pot. I've already got and, gloves on. And technically, on. your fire pot is really and truly the only thing. Yeah, it is self-cleaning, but that's really and truly the only thing you have to worry about because yep. that's where all the airflow comes from. But again, every couple of cooks, you got your gloves on, change that foil on that drip pan, give it a scoop with the hands. It literally takes 20 seconds a year. Don't overthink it. Yep. And we've been getting a lot of questions about how in the world do we keep the front of our grill clean? Mm -hmm. And I did something today, Greg. I got some wonderful cleaner from our friends at, at the Grill Great Company. Uh, shout out Brad Barrett, and I want to let you guys know that this stuff does work, okay? I used a green Brillo pad and some hot water, and I warmed the grill up, but this stuff absolutely, positively does work. I would go and check out their website, grillgreat.com. And you get the grill warm, but you don't need it screaming hot. Just yeah. put the grill on like 200 degrees, 225, just get it warm. And be mindful, you know. Uh, you guys can see here, I cleaned uh, this one off this morning. Matt, you want to come over here to the stampede? I cleaned off one edge, and but I didn't clean down here at the bottom. So you can see what all I got off. Now this spot, of course, we let get real bad, so that's going to be really tough for me to clean off. But everything else pretty much came off, and this is a great, great product from our friends at Grill Great. Check it out at grillgreat.com. Um, shout out Brad Barrett for giving me, he hooked me up with this. Uh, but it did actually work. It's He's tough. He's a nice guy. He's a nice it's guy. It's super tough to find something that's actually going to work. Uh, and get all of that crud. But not, I did have to use some elbow grease, it's guys. It's not nasty and caustic either. I did have to use some elbow grease. So you got to get in there. You got to get on in there. Get on them nooks and crannies, right? Probably an attachment you could put in your drill too, maybe. A little They're soft, soft yeah. pad or something. Yeah. But I mean, I was able to clean off the grill. Was that a good meatball? That was a very good meatball. Nice and moist. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, SST. Succulent. Smoky. Tender. Damn. Sexy. <laughs> That's uh, all the descriptor words that I want describing my food. SSTS. Yep. I like it. I like it. All right, well, we got these getting pretty close to being done here. And we're cooking at 325 degrees, both for the meatballs. How long did the meatballs take at 325 degrees, Greg? Uh, about an hour. So they took about an hour. Mm -hmm. the, that uh, garlic bread we put in about five minutes ago, and yep. it's already melted down, really looking close. delicious. Wow. We want to wait for it to get golden brown and crispy. Just a little bit. And then tell us about our bolognese sauce. So again, we've taken a couple pounds of sausage, a couple pounds of ground beef. And again, you can use ground pork. Uh, if you've got fattier cuts of uh, beef, chuck is fine. Use what you got in your freezer. For sure. Cook it down. Uh, we'll add in a couple carrots. And again, we put the carrots, onion, celery in a food processor. Kind of made a puree of it, but it was kind of a chunky puree. And what's that um, called? A chunky puree. No, that, I thought there was a specific word uh, for mirepoix it. Mirepoix would be carrots, onions, and celery. And again, okay. we kind of pureed that in a food processor. Um, cooked that down for a couple hours, added a bunch of herbs, some red wine, um, a little bit of tomato sauce, and then we just added some heavy cream at the end to kind of Sounds like it up a, a Saturday bit. night to me. <laughs> I mean, you know. So we can assemble one sandwich out here, you think, or no? Uh, we can, for sure. So my girl Peggy Grimes, you know, she works at the CDC. Uh, they actually had a meeting uh, about me the other day, which is kind of weird. Um, but they're... You know, it's during our time, you know, what's going on today. 
You know, they told me that I could only tell inside jokes. But we're outside. Ha! 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 Because of the danger. They said I could only tell inside jokes. You get us a dad joke of the day. Greg. <laughs> he didn't get it. Dang it. All wow. right, so now we put our so you've put our bowls on the top. Our meat bowls. We got the meat bowls on top. On top of this piece of garlic bread that has uh, cold cuts on it and, and it, cheese. And give it a smush. In the, garlic bread has like a little cavity in the middle. You mm. got to give it a mush. Cheese and crackers. All right, hold on. Let me uh, do a little of this. Is that bolognese ready? Yeah. Man, if we had spaghetti noodles, I would just put spaghetti noodles on there, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sure, what a journey. That sounds delish. John, we got any good questions? Uh, yeah, they wanted to know how big was that Dutch oven? Uh, 13 quart. 13, 13 quarts? Quart, yep. Also, John Franklin let one of his neighbors borrow his BFG to cook some Boston butts. That's awesome. I just wanted to give him a shout out. That's inside. the way you do it, you John. That's awesome. Friends. That's awesome. Let's go inside. We're going to take. Uh, I'm going to grab the rest of this stuff, Greg. I'm coming, Jody. I'm coming. Yeah, well, guys. I was. Uh, go ahead and put in the comment section below if you would oh. what you guys are eating today for lunch. I know it's not going to be as delicious as these sandwiches that Jody and Greg made. Chris Long said it looks wonderful. It does look wonderful. It smells better than it looks, though, Chris. Let me tell you right now, it is delicious. Fire, man. Fire. But thanks. Uh, Charlie Weir's out there. What's up, Charlie Weir? Tracy Wright, she's out there, too. I'm going to taste this cold cut. Mm, okay. All right. This cold cut was good. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh, Gus Hermes out there. Gary Fisher. Uh, Teresa Silcox, what's up, girl? Um, my, Michael Frederick sounds like John. Sold you guys a BFG. What? If simple Green works well. It says Lowell. Simple Green. Raycorn said, "Wow." All right, mm. we're ready to cut this bad boy open. We got people doing brats, Jody, Ooh. baby back ribs. David on the, said he on likes that barkeeper's friend. Pizzas, burgers. Yum. Are we They're ready? doing it up. Modified yeah, let's Cuban see it, sandwich. Man, that looks absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. It sounds delicious. Marshville, Ohio, look, what's look up? Look at that. Thank you for uh, joining wow. the family, Brad. Wow. Yeah, it's just a lunch meat sandwich, says John. Mmm. Mm -mm. Corn, beef, and baked beans on their 680, Aaron says. Mm. Yes, yes, and more. Kent yes. made some steak fajitas. We like fajitas. But that is a good looking little sandwich. Guys, again, you can turn this into spaghetti and meatballs, pasta and meatballs. I mean, there's no meatball rules sandwich, here. meatball sub. Mm. Man, that looks. Look at that smoke ring on that little ball Insane. right there. That is a good-looking sandwich right there. Chef Greg's meatballs are uh, are the best. That's what everybody says. Cheers, buddy. Hey, C. Lark, <laughs> how you doing down there? Cheers to you, Greg. Mm. Oh, guys, that looks delicious. A lot of meat mm -hmm. to that meat and bread ratio, but I like it. So Again, that's a delicious meatball. It's smoky, mm. succulent, tender. It's sexy. Mm -hmm. All the good descriptor mm. words. John, get on over here. I'll swap places mm. with you. This ain't no game. This ain't no game. Everybody Every else is playing for second. Everybody's playing for second. We play for keeps. We play for keeps. And then what's the other one? I, for, I keep forgetting. Is there four? No, there's a, there's three. Yeah, this ain't no game. There, this ain't no we game. We play for keeps. No, there, we play for keeps is not oh, one of Ray Carnes' signature. Oh, it's not his signature? Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Oh, let me go ahead and get some of that. Ray, what was it? Put it in the comment section down below. How's that sandwich taste, John? Oh, my God. It's so delicious. Mm. It's good, good right there. Uh, What's guys, up, Todd? Thanks for joining us. Chase, Tracy Wright, we appreciate you. Creative. This ain't no game. Game, set match. game set match. Game, set, match. We keep forgetting game, set, match. Game. 
set, match. Everybody else to play for a second, guys. Um, but we hope that we taught you something today. We hope that we brought you some normalcy to your crazy life. And we also hope sure. that we broke up your day uh, with our lunch break. Smash mm. that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. We really would appreciate it. Don't forget, Chef John will be cooking later today at 4, 4 p.m. Eastern right. Standard. Live right here on the Rec Tech Grills Facebook Make page. Make sure you stay there for that 420 moment pr provided by Dirty Girl. I wonder what he's drinking today, too. I mean, he's had some That's good right. stuff in the past. You gotta see. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's gonna be surprise, surprise. You have to tune in to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good teaser, John. <laughs> and then uh, remember, we do this every lunch break, Monday through Friday. Don't forget, Wednesday, we have after hours. We'll be cooking at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Thursday is product spotlight at 4. And then fun day Friday, every Friday, live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard, noon. Uh, we got anything else, Greg? 20% off on the website of all add-ons, guys. Now is the time to buy. We are shipping. If you guys are tired of messing around with your gas grill, you're tired of making a mess of yourself with that charcoal grill, jump over to rectechgrills.com. Make your life a whole lot easier. Make dinner time so much tastier. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, but uh, remember, guys, try to make some memories. Go outside and play with your kids. Stay home. Let's go ahead. We got two more weeks of this probably. Stay home. Let's flatten that curve. Let's get it over with. Let's get things back to normal. Don't be crazy and go out there. Don't be like all those people at Lowe's and Home Depot lined up outside. Don't be like those kids at Daytona. <sighs> Golly, y'all. Stay inside, children. Make, make some meatball subs. That's right. We love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. I'm going to yell at all these people right do, here. Do, do, Tina Fisher. Do, do, James Moore, do. thank you so much. Ray Rec McFadder, my man. Tell a friend about Rec Tech, it. says Ray Carnes. Doug down. Wilkerson, Gary Fisher, Christopher like. Long, Kay Sheeran. Hey, Kay. She's a top do, fan. Do, do, Gina's a top fan. Todd's a top do, fan. Do, Vince, what's up? John, do, Bobby, do, do. Craig, James, John, Randy. Top do, fan, do, do, Michael Frederick, do, top do, fan, do, Ray knows, do, do, game, do, set, do, match. Do, do, Someone drop a beat for Sea Lark, says Daniel. Lifestyle.